The second step when transitioning to a logical database diagram is to add associative entities. And these are needed for each many-to-many -many relationship that we have. So if we look at our diagram, we see that we have one many-to-many -many relationship. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an additional entity that we'll be able to use to connect those two. So I'm going to add a table in between them. Now naming it is something that you can use something that's meaningful. So if the relationship itself has a meaning that you can describe in a word, it's a good idea to use a meaningful word. If there's, if it's not a descriptive relationship, uh, at least not one that you can define with a word easily, you can go ahead and just concatenate, put the two names together. The, so here, this is, will be putting together the user and the account, making that relationship between them. So I simply just used user and account for the name. So that is the associative table that you use whenever you have a many-to-many -many relationship.